Imagine living a life where money is no object and the world is your playground. You could travel in private jets, own hundreds of luxury cars, and live in a palace with more than 1,700 rooms. This may sound like a fairy tale, but for Hassan al-Bolkiah, the Sultan of Bruni, it's just another day in his opulent life. With a fortune estimated at $30 billion, Bolkiah is one of the wealthiest people in the world, and his love for luxury and extravagant spending is well known. From his collection of rare cars and private jets to his vast palaces and art collections, Bolkiah's wealth and extravagance are on full display for the world to see. However, his implementation of strict Sharia law and the resulting controversy have made him a figure of both admiration and criticism. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the life of the Sultan of Bruni, his wealth, and his controversial choices, and examine why he continues to be both revered and reviled in his home country and around the world. Hassan al Bolkiah was born on July 15, 1946, and was the son of Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin III, who had ten children from several wives. From an early age, Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin chose Bolkiah to succeed him, and he was educated privately and later attended the Victoria Institution in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst, England. After Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin's abdication on October 4, 1967, Bolkiah ascended to the throne and was coronated on August 1, 1968. Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom honored him with the title of the night, just like his father. Bolkiah's wealth comes from Brunei's oil reserves and natural gas, which makes him one of the world's richest people. According to a report by Business Insider, Bolkiah's assets are estimated at more than $30 billion, and he was once the world's richest man until 1980. He owns the Bruni Investment Agency, BIA, which manages the country's oil revenues. Bolkiah's opulent lifestyle is well known, and he is often seen spending his wealth in extravagant ways. One of his most notable displays of wealth is his collection of luxury cars, which is one of the largest in the world. He owns approximately 7,000 rare cars, including 500 Rolls Royces and 300 Ferraris, with an estimated combined value of over 5 billion US dollars. He also has several private jets equipped with luxury facilities, including a Boeing 747 to 400 jet plated with gold, which has a living room and bedroom. Bolkiah's palace, the Astana Nurul Iman, is worth more than $1 billion and is one of the largest palaces in the world. It has more than 1,700 rooms, 257 bathrooms, and five swimming pools. There are also air-conditioned stables for 200 horses and 110 garages. The palace is also home to a mosque that can accommodate 1,500 worshippers, and it is equipped with a banquet hall that can seat 5,000 guests. Bolkiah's love for luxury does not end there. According to reports, he still spends $20,000 for a single haircut. He flies out his favorite barber from London, where he works at the Dorchester Hotel in Mayfair First Class at a cost of about $12,000. Bolkiah's penchant for excess was on display during his daughter's wedding. Princess Fadzila Lubabol Bolkiah, the week-long wedding, held at the Astana Nurul Iman, was a dreamy and lavish affair that captured the world's attention. It was estimated to have cost millions of dollars, with a guest list that included celebrities and dignitaries from around the world. In addition to his collection of cars, planes, and palaces, Volkia also has an extensive art collection. He reportedly owns paintings by Picasso and Van Gogh, among others. He is also known to have an extensive collection of jewelry and watches, some of which are encrusted with diamonds and other precious stones. Bolkiah's extravagant lifestyle has not been without controversy. In 2014, Brumny implemented strict Sharia law, which led to widespread international condemnation. The new law imposes harsh penalties, including amputation and death by stoning, for a range of offenses, including theft and adultery. Bolkiah defended the law, stating that it was necessary to preserve the country's culture and traditions. The implementation of Sharia law has also had an impact on Bolkiah's business interests. Many celebrities and organizations have boycotted his hotels, including the Beverly Hills Hotel and the Hotel Bel Air in Los Angeles, due to the harsh new laws. 
Despite the controversy surrounding his lavish lifestyle and the implementation of Sharia law, Bolkia remains a revered figure in Bruni. He is seen as a symbol of the country's independence and sovereignty, and many Bruneans are proud of his wealth and extravagant lifestyle. However, not all Bruneans are happy with the Sultan's wealth and extravagant spending. In recent years, there have been protests against the government's spending, and some have called for more transparency and accountability in how the country's wealth is spent. In 2020, Bolkia announced that Brunei would introduce a new penal code that would abolish the death penalty and other harsh punishments under Sharia law. The move was seen as an attempt to address some of the international criticism of Brunei's legal system. Despite the changes, Bolkia's opulent lifestyle and vast wealth continue to attract attention and scrutiny. He remains one of the world's wealthiest people, with a fortune estimated at $30 billion, and his love for luxury shows no signs of waning. That's all for today. If you're fascinated by the extravagant lifestyle of the Sultan of Bruni and want to explore more luxurious lifestyles, then subscribe to our channel. We bring you the latest news and insights on the opulent lives of the world's wealthiest people, including their luxury cars, private jets, yachts, palaces, and art collections. By subscribing to our channel, you'll stay up to date on the latest trends and developments in the world of luxury living. Don't miss out on the chance to indulge in the world of luxury and extravagance. Subscribe to our channel today.